Welcome to Mars X3D. This is your buddy Dave, and uh, if you're new here, we're glad you're here. This is the home of No Nonsense, Cutting Edge, Mars Anomalies presented in full X3D stereo. What is X3D? It's a very simple technique. When you see a slide, you'll see these two white dots at the top. They're called fusion dots because when you very gently cross your eyes, you fuse those dots, you bring them together, and the image down below is the one that's in 3D. It's a lot of fun, and like I say, we're the only channel of its kind in the world, much less on YouTube. So we're very, very glad that you found this little backwater secret. So we have some exciting news. We have our newest Proud Weirdos Ascension Class, Kevin Lowe and Mike Nelson. Welcome aboard, guys, and to our Proud Weirdos First Class, and you'll see your names roll in the credits. Thank you so much for your support, and uh, click that join button. No obligation there. Find out how easy it is to support this work. We have some real cool stuff coming in the fall. For all of those who support this channel, you're going to love it. I guarantee it. It's a lot of work on my part, but I'm going to make it happen. I want it to be in your hands this fall. Anyway, what we do here is we look at objects of geological interest. We shorten that to oogies. And then we look at artifact candidates, items which show non-fractal properties or have other properties which indicate that they might possibly be artifacts. And then we have full-blown artifacts, which we unashamedly say are relics of an ancient civilization. And uh, we look at these again in 3D stereo, so you be the judge. You don't have to stretch your imagination. You don't have to listen to what I have to say, although I like to make what I hope is informed speculation about each item, but uh, you be the judge. Make up your own mind. Oh, by the way, if you're having trouble with X3D, hang in there a bit. Towards the end, we have a bonus section for you where we present all of the items in a different format that most people can see in what approximates 3D. Ain't, ain't as good as a real thing, but, uh, but it's pretty good. I think you'll like it. Enough talking. Let's start looking. Well, we only have one oogie this week, something I dug up in uh, Percy 817, right down there in front in the center. I realize that uh, the wishful thinkers out there are going to immediately say, oh, that's a mummified pig's head or a mummified bear. And, uh, yeah, who knows? But, you know, it is awfully strange for a geological formation. Perfect circle on the left side, hollowed out. Nice little slot cut there down through the side. Who knows what this is, but we're going to call it geology for now. As we move into our artifact candidates, we'll start with Curiosity 33 rather 3861, and something that my buddy Laszlo pointed out. It's right on the edge of the hillside, not too far away. Looks like a uh, covered driveway, doesn't it? Nice flat roof, sloping piece on the right, 90 degree angle on the left. 
I would discount it as uh, just an arrangement of rocks that happened to fall in that particular pattern, but you've got those, uh, uh, look to the left, the curving series of 90 degree angles, which indicates something buried under the sand which may be artificial in origin. Moving a little farther upslope, here's something my buddy Laszlo pointed out. I call it Laszlo's Lair, and uh, it's not very big, but you can see it inside this yellow box. Let's zoom in. There are some interesting things in this image. The yellow arrow in the background is pointing at a non-fractal object. It is an artifact. It's not an artifact candidate, it's an actual artifact. You got the 90 degree angles in three dimensions. We'll zoom into it in just a moment, but uh, the white arrow in front is Laszlo's Lair. And of course, as you look around the image, you'll see other items as well. So let's zoom in on that cube in the background. It's going to be really blurry, but you'll be able to see the mathematics. Don't you wish it was more clear so we could make out what those carvings or indentations on the front are? Regardless, this is an artificial object that was formed by intelligent agency. You don't get these kinds of 90 degree angles in nature, not in three dimensions, and not as regularly as we see here. So here it is, Laszlo's Lair, and it's kind of a cute little gnome house with a door and a, either a window or entrance on the left side, a portico or a wall between them. And uh, again, is it a natural formation or is it actually some kind of little dwelling? This isn't more than a foot across, so you be the judge. Here's another fascinating find by Lazlo Shabalix in Curiosity 3861 over there on the right inside the Magenta Square. We have what appears to be a pillar or rounded form with a flat top and uh, regular concentric rings on the outside which have what looks like carving on them. Are they letters? Are they decorative? Or is this simply unusual erosion? Well, we don't know for sure. But I'm tempted to call this one artificial. Here's something pointed out by Sarah Runcy in Percy 8. Right up there, follow the green arrow right up to the edge of the top center. And by now you've grown accustomed to seeing 90 degree angles in three dimensions, always an indicator of intelligent agency. This possibly could be geological in origin, but I like that rolled and fluted edge and the fact that it's such a uniform thickness and such clean sharp angles in it. Here's one that Laszlo and I stumbled on at the same time in Percy 8, 17, 3, 8, 18, a beautiful uh, GMAC by our friend and ace image expert Neville Thompson, Nev T as we call him, and uh, let's get on in there and see what we have. I really like this one. Uh, the imagination kind of runs wild with it. I mean, you've got that beautiful right angle that it's uh, made from. It almost looks like the corner of a building or possibly a decorative corner on a, on a statue. Who knows what the heck it is, but uh, very, very unusual. And uh, I'll give Laszlo the kudos for this one. Jim West is still sharing things with the community every now and then. Here's one he found in the Kim Cam image done by Nev T. Curiosity 3822 through 3860. This is a rather rough looking cube that has what appears to be the number 25 carved in bas relief on the front. Now I'm inclined to give this artifact candidate status because, well, the, it is cubical, however battered and rough it may look, and those numbers, they could happen by chance, but 
my golly, I sure can't think of a way that geology would account for that. We found a couple of dome-like structures in Percy 766, and uh, Alexander, Leah, and I stumbled on this one at the same time. So let's move on in. It's a fair distance away from the rover. Unfortunately, we don't have any metrics uh, as we do with the uh, navigation cameras on the other missions. Uh, way to go, NASA. <laughs> Boy, that's helpful. Anyway, let's uh, zoom in and uh, have a look. This is reminiscent of an igloo, isn't it? With the large structure and then the smaller structure in front of it. Now, this could well be a very nicely rounded boulder on the uh, beyond the edge of the hill and uh, with a smaller rock in front of it. We just don't know. But it is suspiciously symmetrical, as is this next one. Rami Bar Ilan posted this one the other day, and it as well is just beyond the ridge line, some distance from the rover. When Rami posted this one, he had rotated it to the left, so the horizon line was level, and uh, it was a bit close, more closely cropped than this. And uh, I thought to myself initially, by golly, that, that's, uh, that's a dome. There's no way that's not a dome. But then as I study the images in 3D from the mass cams, I can see that it's just a little bit asymmetrical on the right which might indicate that, again, it's a rounded boulder uh, just past the ridge line. So, you know, jury's out on this. That curve is awfully precise coming up the left side and all the way around till it gets almost to the last quarter and then it gets out around there. So, uh, you engineers, back me up on this. <laughs> artifact candidate, not an artifact. Okay, let's jump into the artifacts now. These are items that show all of the properties of intelligent agency. And while some of them may not be crystal clear, the math doesn't lie. A perfect example is this first one by Laszlo Shabalix. And this was found in uh, Curiosity 345, Mascam South, by Nev T. So let's take a closer look at this. Yes, it's blurry, but you can't argue with the math. This looks just like a, a small table that you'd set on the ground, perhaps for a Japanese tea ceremony, and kneel at it, and, uh, you know. Anyway, what is it? We don't know, but it's non-fractal, and it is an artifact. Here's one that caught my attention in Curiosity 3855. A very nicely formed rectangular block, and did you notice this? A small wheel with radial spokes tucked away in back of the block. Laszlo has been hard at it again this week. This one is from Curiosity 1429. We're going to take a closer look at three items. The white arrow on the left, the yellow arrow in the center, and the green arrow on the right, which is where we'll begin. Blurry, yes, once again, but we also have the math. We have those right angles. It's sitting on a square. It's got a rectangular plinth it's sitting on. And it has all those, well, carvings, I guess, on the face of it. Let's move over to the one on the far left. Besides being made of several cubes, uh, mounted at different angles, kind of like a Harley V-twin. I knocked back the shadows on the side facing us, and there's all kinds of very interesting structure there. Let's move over to the center. If you're looking at this one in X3D, despite the blurriness from the zoom, you can clearly see that this is a box-like structure with a lid on top and a lid or rim on the bottom. This is clearly non-fractal, and it's clearly artificial. We're back in Percy 817 through 818, and uh, Laszlo has pointed out something, and uh, I found a couple other things right nearby. Let's take a look. 
If you've been watching the channel any length of time, you can already see that each of these three items is displaying non-fractal properties. On the left, the yellow arrow is pointing out a nicely formed block 90 degree angles hemispherical carving on the front. White arrow is pointing out a bilaterally symmetrical compound curve with 90 degree, 90 degree turns. And of course, the green arrow on the right is the uh, artifact that Laszlo pointed out. It's easy to see the precision with which this block was created. It reminds me of some of the precision cut blocks at Pumapunku. Really remarkable edging and angles and circles and divots. Everything is so precise. I just wish that we had a much more clear image than we do, but this is what NASA gave us, so that's what we're going to work with. And finally, we'll wrap things up with another find by Rami Bar Ilan, a trapezoidal block which seems to have the number 697 carved very plainly on the front. Uh, how do you argue with this? How do you explain it? This is clearly an artifact. Well, that wraps things up for today. And if you saw something you liked, why not give us a thumbs up? Maybe even subscribe. It really does help the algorithms here on crazy old YouTube. But uh, we do have a, an email where you can contact us below if you have an anomaly that you'd like us to have a look at. If you feel like uh, checking out the membership options here, appreciate that. And uh, Oh, what else is coming up? We have a lot of projects this summer. Things we're working on that I think you're going to enjoy uh, come fall. So I hope you stick around for that. If you have any questions, stop by our Facebook site where we have new postings every day from all over the globe and where I can answer your questions personally. Meanwhile, if you uh, plan on hanging out here, any length of time, you may just become a proud weirdo. But for all you proud weirdos out there, you know who you are. Stay safe and stay weird. This is your buddy Dave at Mars X3D. Be well.